Lighting Brain. Hello guys and welcome back to our channel Lighting Brain. Having big hands in NBA is an attribute when they are utilized well. Generally, every players in NBA have hand size average to their height, but some players come up with big hands. Today we'll be breaking down top six players with big hands in present time NBA. Number six, we have Rajan Rondo. Rondo is one of the most polarizing NBA players. The six foot one point guard has excellent basketball IQ and his huge hands help him in all areas of his game. He has been a league leader in assists per game and he has career average of 10 points, 8.5 assists and 4.8 rebounds per game. It is said that when Rondo was born, his mother immediately noticed that he has big eyes but doctors noticed that he has big hands and one of the doctors said it's humongous. His father left his mom when Rondo was small so that's why Rondo don't trust a lot of people. Nobody talks about Rondo's hands. Basically, his hands are underrated and we all must know that he has huge hands. His hands act as a great attribute while he's passing the ball and making a fake. It's fair to put this gentleman at number 6. At number 5, we have Zahil Okafor. Okafor was viewed as a skilled offensive player coming out of Duke because of his moves in the paint. His 6 foot 11 frame and his hand size. He has struggled to play consistently on the defensive end of the floor, which is not a uh, strength of his game. He put up 8 points and nearly 5 rebounds per game for New Orleans Pelicans during the 2018-19 season. Like the third overall pick in the draft, his hands measure at 9.5 inches long and 11.25 inches wide. At number 4, we have Kawhi Leonard. We all know how big Kawhi's hands are. You may have seen him doing this. Come on, man. Look at this. Suction cups. Let's go. Oh, oh man. <laughs> or this. And that's going to be a foul against Kawhi Leonard, who came away from the pack with the. Or this. Yeah, I got to back up there, man. Those guys, those, those are some pretty big men. Kawhi earned his nickname, the Claw, because he has some of the biggest hands in NBA. You don't get a nickname like the Claw without having few hands. Leonard is one of the best two-way players in the NBA and has been in the MVP discussion at points throughout his career. The six-foot-seven Leonard took the Raptors to break of the Eastern Conference Finals. He is also averaging 26 points and seven rebounds per game this season. So, in addition to having some of the biggest hands among NBA players, Leonard puts up big numbers too. It was said that when Leonard was born, his mother immediately noticed that he has big hands. His big hands help him while either getting a rebound or like making a steal. But he told that he has sometimes trouble shooting the ball because of the size of his hands. Sometimes the ball don't go out from his hands and stick to the hand. He said that in an interview taken by Serge Ibaka in his show. In LA Clippers too, he is playing like, like he is dominating every single player and is ranked 4th in the world's best player as per ESPN's prime list. At number 3, we have Noah Vonley. The 6 foot 9 Vonley does not always fill up the stat sheet, but he can fill up a pair of mittens because he has some of the biggest hands in the NBA. He has shown flashes of potential so far during his career but he hasn't been able to put it all together. While he was playing for the Knicks, he had a career year in Knicks, averaging 8 points and 7 rebounds per game for the Knicks. Bonle could be a key part of the Nuggets rebuild because he's currently playing for the Denver Nuggets. The 6 foot 9 Bonle would be a team to look for in the playoffs. His hands measure at 9.75 inches long and 11.75 inches wide. At number 2, we have the reigning MVP Giannis Antetokounmpo. Due to his unnatural skills at the height of 6 foot 11 inches, he has earned himself a nickname the Greek Freak. The Greek Freak has the potential to be the league MVP and one of the best physical attributes are his enormous hands. 
they compare favorably to some of the greatest NBA play players ever. Giannis can easily palm the ball off a rebound and go coast to coast in a handful of steps before finishing with authority at the ring. The 6 foot 11 Giannis posted career highs in points 27.7 and rebounds 12.5 per game this season. You would be hard pressed to find many NBA players with the ability to dominate the game the way Giannis has. Giannis' enormous hands measured 9.85 inches long and, and 12 inches wide at the NBA draft, making it the highest and the biggest hand in the NBA draft that year. Due to his unnatural skills at the height he has owned, he is truly a freak of the nature and is dominating the NBA right now and he has earned his first career MVP at 2019. This season, he has led his team to huge win, winning 53 games and losing just 12 games. Jack even told that he has never seen someone more dominant than Giannis Antetokounmpo. Due to his huge height, large hands and crazy wingspan, he has dominated the NBA in every possible way. And at number one, we have Boban Marjanovic. Boban Marjanovic is one of the biggest players in the NBA. He stands at 7 foot 4, weighs 291 pounds, and he's a dominant force when going off for the ball. His large hands allow him to pull down nearly 5 rebounds per game. His numbers are down during this postseason but he can still help out the Dallas Mavericks in the paint. Unfortunately, his hands are not officially measured, but his hands are estimated to be 10.75 inches long and 12 inches wide. At first, it was said that his hands measured at 10.75 inches long and 14 inches wide, but that's next to impossible, so his hands must be around 12 inches wide. We all have seen him dunking without even jumping. Watch his feet and watch him dunking. Watch this. And, it's kind of and even dominating Anthony Davis with the ball. That I got playing against him. So are you saying Marjanovic knew what he was doing there? No. Okay. Because you don't see a steady. <laughs> because you don't see a steady dying over. How about. Look at his hands when he when he is like catching the ball. The ball can get disappeared in his huge hands. So that's why his hands are estimated to be 10.75 inches long, making it one inches longer than that of Kawhi. But let's hope his hand does get measured, and we can know his hands full and true measurement. But due to his huge hands. He can dominate every single player and even can make tall players like Anthony Davis, Giannis look small in front of him and can dominate them with his huge hands. That's all for today folks, but I want to say something. Having huge hands in the NBA can act as a great attribute when they are utilized well, but only having huge hands don't allow or don't make you the best in the world. For that, you have to do hard work, consistent training, and consistent effort. So don't think that only having huge hands will make you the greatest in the world and can help you in the NBA. You gotta have skills, and every criteria needs to be fulfilled for the NBA. And also, having a small height don't make you smaller in skills than other. You can even be the best player in the world with a small height and hands as well. Comment down below guys if anything is anything I said is a mistake and please tell me if I made any mistakes try to try to solve it as soon as possible. But yeah that's all for today folks. Thanks for watching. Oh, uh -huh.